Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable the new progressive ring boot animation on your Windows 11 computer. So if you want to enable the new ring animation that Windows has pushed out, so I'm going to show you guys how to actually do that, and we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the search menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best result, check out back our registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Before you proceed, I would suggest you create a backup of your registry. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name and recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever needed to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import, and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So first thing we're going to do is double click on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for control set 001. Now you want to right click on the control folder, and select new, and then select key. You want to name this key boot control, B-O-O-T-C-O-N-T-R-O-L. Again, boot control, all one word. And now on the right panel, you want to right click in a blank area. Select new, then select the word 32-bit value. You want to name this boot, B-O-O-T. Progress. Animation. Exactly, you see it on my screen, so again, boot progress animation and hit enter. Once you've done that, double click on it, set the value data to the number one, and then you want to select OK. And now you will need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So let's go ahead and just close out of the registry editor and restart our computer. The computer will need to restart in order for the changes to take effect here. And there you go, guys. You can see the new logo. You see the progressive loading bar. And there you go, guys. That basically just summed it up. You saw how it was loading. And you see it doesn't fully integrate when it's actually starting up, but the boot screen, you saw that it was doing that new animation. So pretty straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.